Hello my friends and welcome back to the brand new video of the MKR developer channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a button navigation bar. Just like this. With three buttons and each button will open a fragment for us. As you remember and you are following my videos, uh, two weeks ago I have created this uh, video for you. But uh, I used the old fashioned way to connect this uh, fragments to these buttons and uh, you know that we have to write a bunch of code to do this but in this video i'm going to show you how to use navigation component to do this and it will be so fast and so easy so please hit the subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up and let's get started okay for this i have created this project i don't need this text view and uh, let's uh, I start with the resource manager and we are going to the navigation and plus navigation resource I'm going to call it my nav okay the dependencies will be added okay it's created near uh, here we need three fragments and i'm going to uh, create them next and i'm going to call it home fragment okay the second one And the third one. I'm not going to connect them uh, because all of them are like the top fragments and uh, we are controlling them by uh, the buttons of the button navigation bar. So, uh, now we are done here let's go back to the main activity layout here i'm going to search for the bottom and here bottom navigation view i'm going to drag and drop it here the constraint to the bottom to the right to the left and zero 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 let's go to the codes i'm going to zoom a bit uh, the width can be match parent and the height wrap content. Okay, that's cool. And uh, again to the design section and here I need a navigation host. Okay, the source will be my nav, the graph. Top constraint, right constraint, left constraint, and bottom constraint. Okay, I split it to the code. And here, I'm going to change it to the fragment. Okay, the ID fragment container view. And uh, I have an ID bottom navigation view here. Uh, we don't need this margin, so in the design section, I'm going to change them to zero. Okay, that's cool. And let's go to the resource manager and here a menu we need plus menu resource. Button menu and uh, okay. This is our menu and we need three menu items. Okay. 
for them uh, I'm going to change the titles first okay and uh, i need uh, one icon for each of them let's uh, go to the resource manager into the drawable and plus uh, vector assets and i'm going to add three vectors here okay again into the menu here i need icon uh, and travel hotel for this one and for the next one the same icon ticket icon home okay i need three ids here and the ids should be exactly the same as the ids of the fragments so let's go to the minor and let's put it to the codes and here i have three ids here so i'm going to copy this whole line for the home and in the menu for the i'm going to paste it here for the uh, home uh, button and same for the rest okay that's cool let's go back to the main activity and to the codes here i'm going to add the menu here okay our menu appeared here as you see it and now we can uh, set it on the uh, emulator to see how is it we have these three buttons and uh, there is no action on the fragments so uh, let's change a bit the layout of the fragments to have the image view in the middle and the uh, text view to show in which fragment we are right now okay if you like the video till now please hit the subscribe button and support me by giving me a thumbs up i'm going to the resource manager to the layout uh, home fragment and i'm going to do changes i will speed up the video to save the time okay now we are all set uh, let's go to the main activity to write the codes uh, so uh, we need uh, to define two things here first of all this one the navigation uh, controller and the second one here the menu and we have to connect them merge them
navigation controller equals to again uh, find uh, nav controller and r dot id dot uh, fragment container view and here set up with nav controller and here we will pass the nav controller okay let's check what do we have till now we are in the home fragment and ticket fragment and hotel fragment and here uh, the label is constantly showing the name of the application if you want to change the label uh, based on the fragment that we are in it uh, we have to uh, write two more lines of the code and i'm going to write it here to show you so first of all we need the Uh, upper configuration equals to uh, upper configuration and here set of the fragments on fragments sorry here i have a typo set off and then our dot id dot uh, hotel fragment and our dot id dot Ticket fragment and then uh, set up action bar with nav controller. We are passing the nav controller and the app bar configuration. Let's check it again on the emulator. okay fragment home fragment ticket fragment hotel but it doesn't look so good we can go to the minor and here we can change the labels uh, let me close this fragment home can be only home with the capital h and the same for hotel and the same for ticket okay and that's it here we have home ticket hotel if uh, you are confused why the home is here on the right side and no matter you can go to the uh, menu here and uh, open the menu file and just change the position of the items i can remove the home here and uh, the position should be changed okay home is on the left and hotel and ticket and that's it 
Okay, it was everything about uh, uh, navigation bar using navigation component. And uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe it right now. And uh, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up to support this video to be seen by more people. And if you want to financially support me and my channel, you can find the link down below in the description. And uh, by clicking on that link, buy me a coffee. Uh, the link of the application that I showed you here, this one, if you want to learn uh, having more items here and the uh, colors to change them and everything, uh, you can click on this link and watch the video about that. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your time.